people living and working near the I-10 Wilcox Road exit say crystal meth is destroying their community. It doesn't make us feel safe at all. Locals fed up with a parking lot drug deals and crime associated with meth use contacted News 5 for help. It would be nice to, if they could do something about it, but you know, I don't know what all the county can do. It's dangerous. Oh yeah, big sores all over you and uh, it messes up your mind and it's a, it's a sex drug for sex. We want to have the tourists come to our area and we want them to feel safe. They don't want to come to somewhere where they're going to be robbed or beaten or shot or whatever. Because of the addictiveness of this drug, uh, if that person doesn't have a steady stream of income, uh, then they're going to steal. They're going to rob. Sheriff Haas Mack is aware of the problem, but Mack says it goes beyond Wilcox Road. This whole situation with crystal methamphetamine started years ago on the west coast. It's predominantly continued to move towards the east. Uh, we've been dealing with it in Alabama for several years now. Uh, it continues to be what I call probably one of the fastest growing drug epidemics that we've seen. On Saturday, five people, including four women, were charged with manufacturing crystal meth. The suspects are accused of buying chemicals and components used to make meth and cooking the dangerous drug at a house near Foley. Batteries and fuel and acid and drain cleaner. At pharmacies across Baldwin County, sheriff's deputies have put up these posters reminding the public about Alabama's new pseudoephedrine law. We stopped selling pseudoephed, you know, to anyone other than by prescription, you know, a while back, but this just kind of reinforces that idea that it should be by prescription only. This is the most psychologically addicted drug that you can get on and once you do it, it's it's chasing the high. Whitey Whiten is the clinical coordinator for the shoulder, a drug addiction treatment center in Spanish Fort. Whiten has a waiting list of crystal meth addicts needing inpatient treatment. They're putting straight poison in their system. People end up losing their homes, selling their furniture, pawning everything they've got, losing relationships. 